secularization of knowledge was uh, an important uh, problem there. So his giant efforts, his fight, his fights were against this uh, secularization of knowledge and to strengthen the faith. Education and integration of knowledge and faith. Linking between faith and Iman. That is the main concept of uh, education of science. The 21st century has witnessed unprecedented attacks on the foundation of faith by materials in the name of science and advancement. This, this attacks, this attacks really attacked the faith of Muslims and Nosi tried to strengthen it. Nosi responded to these attacks by devoting all his efforts to save and certain belief, which he viewed as the most important matter for a better humanity. New Nosi argues that the main person, purpose of the creation of humanity is to be perfect by means of knowledge and supplication based on belief. We can know, we can see in, in the Quran, Quran says, Antumul Ayalawun Antumul Mu'mini. If you are, if you are the true believers, you are the highest, you are the best. That is the view of Sayyid Nusi also. The main important factor is faith, not only education. Education should be fused by faith. That is the main concept of education. Then another main concept of education of Sayyid Nusi is integration of religious and modern sciences. One of his most important views related to education is the approaches of unity, religion and science. But the user man felt that the existing education system was not addressing the need of society. It was rather furthering gap between two sections of society, intelligentsia of religious science and that of modern science. So the purpose of this project, Madrasa Tuzahar, was also the reconciliation of religious sciences and secular knowledge. For him, the main purpose of learning science is to understand the Quran and to its truths. So my last part of my paper, how Sayyid concepts of education contribute to reformation of education system in Southeast Asia. We know in the 20th century the main attack against Muslim education as well as the Muslim world was the modernization of uh, education and secularization of education. Said Nusi also faced this problem in ultra modern Turkey. So, Said Nusi's concept of education, faith based education, it became important in this manner. This process of externalization of education caused to lose the faith based learning and religious values based instruction. Therefore, Nusi's view of education based on faith has to be considered as relevant in this manner. Education based on faith is the only treatment for this dangerous disease of secularization and modernization. Integration of religious and modern sciences is another way of resurgence of Islamic culture and civilization. Here also, Nusian view of education shed light on our path to revitalization and empowerment. Yeah. <coughs> so, some important ones, Muslim world, especially some East Asian Muslims, lost from our magnificent tradition of knowledge and wisdom. Today, our education is strong and sound base of pure faith and belief in God. Faith and value based integration of Islamic and modern sciences and the culture of learning. We have a lot of institutions, we have a lot of systems of education, but uh, we have lost faith. Faith in Allah. We are, we are in the hands of secularization and modernization. Here, here is the important importance of science, concepts of education, the concept of that faith-based education. The focal point of this paper is education model, model of great education, social and spiritual reform of Bayezam and science. This model includes the basic faith-based education and faith-based integration. This paper also tries to put forward this Nusian model of education <laughs> for the renewal of Southeast Asian Muslim educational settings. That's all for me. Thank you. Thank you very much.